unhappy about a proposed trolley in one neighborhood, that's because even if you don't use it, you're still going to be charged for it. CBS 2's Derek Blakely is live in Aurora with the trolley trouble. Derek? Rob, that proposed trolley would run between a handful of new subdivisions and here, the Route 59 metro station. But the alderman who represents those areas says not a single resident she has canvassed wants the trolley. Construction is still booming in the subdivisions along Aurora Station Boulevard, but residents here are fighting a proposed trolley to train service that would be paid for not with fares, but with a tax. The mandated tax and fee would start at $20 initially and go up annually based upon the city of Aurora's determination. 20 bucks per household per month, whether you use the trolley or not, and most here say they would. We estimate that 80%, uh, possibly even 90% don't use the train, so uh, the overwhelming majority wouldn't even use it anyway. But they'd still have to pay. The proposed trolley would run a little more than a mile to the Route 59 metro station. And even though they oppose it, residents along Station Boulevard admit the fee isn't exactly a surprise. Well, when we originally bought, um, it sounded like it would be a, a good idea, a nice option to have. But the shops and stores developers envision for the residents and for the trolley to serve haven't been built, making the trolley, in their eyes, more of a folly. Well, I don't want to be paying for something that I'm not going to use. In a statement, the city of Aurora told me it is fulfilling a promise it made to attract developers to that area to install dedicated transit for its residents. And the city says no decisions have been made as yet on exactly what form that transit would be. As for Alderman Johnson's cost estimates, however, that statement also says those are pure speculation and wildly misleading. We're live in Aurora at the Route 59 Metro Station. Derek Blakely, CBS 2 News. Robin Kate. Okay, Derek.